Hey guys, this is Lalima, and in today's video, we'll discuss about the concat function. Concat function used to combine two or more data frame together, and this combination or concatenation can be happen on row level, where we combine rows of two data frame. So here x is equal to zero, and we can also combine two data frame based on the columns, where x is equal to one. So to understand this function, I've taken two data frame. Car data frame one and car data frame two, and if you see both data frame has the same number of columns, car MPG cylinder displacement. So let's see how we can concat these two data frame. So for concat we need pandas module. So let's first import pandas. Okay. So using pandas I will concat. So command is pd dot concat, and inside the bracket you need to pass list of the data frame which you want to concat. So for list I am using square bracket, and my data frame is car data frame one comma car data frame two. So when I run this, so you see my both the data frame combine means. This first data frame, this data, uh, second data frame, both are combined, and we already knows it has same column, so that's why this is my common column, and these are the rows. Okay, but if you see here, these index is not in sequence. Why? Because both data frame has different different index. So to fix this, I just give a comma, use ignore underscore index equal to two. So when I run this, so my index now in sequence. Okay, so here both the data frame has the same Number of columns. That's why all values looks fine. But what if you have a data frame which has less or more number of columns? So, so here I have one more data frame, car data frame three, and if you see, so it has only three column. Fourth column is missing here. So let's see how we can concat it. So I'm using the same command and I'm just adding car underscore df three, and if I run, so. You see, my all three data frame now combined, but the third data frame doesn't have the displacement, so it uh, filled that value as a none. Okay, so in concat function, we can combine two or more data frame together, and if any column is missing, then that value will be filled with the nn value. Okay, okay. Now this is the row level of combination means uh, we are adding rows. Okay, now what if I want to add one extra column? Okay, means I want to concat on the column level. So for that, um, let's first save this into a result. So my result equal to this one. And if I see again, result. So this is our resulting data frame. Okay. Now I have another data frame, car underscore df4. If you see, it has only single column, which is a horsepower, and this is a new column. Okay, and I want to concat on a Column level here, okay. So I will concat this result with car data frame four. So let's see pd dot concat inside bracket pass the list of the data frame. So my first data frame is result comma car underscore data frame four, and I want to combine it on the column level. That's why I pass x is equal to one. By default x is zero. That's why it's combining row. But if I want to combine based on column, that I need to pass x is equal to one. So here when I run, so see my new column is created here horsepower and wherever that value it fill with this value so you see here it has index from 6 to 10 that's why my value is combining from 6 to 10 and remaining values filled with none okay okay let's try to reset its index so that i'm using reset underscore index inside that drop the existing index and reset from the zero and i want this changes in place so just in place equal to true so when i run it so let's see what is the car data frame looks like so now my index reset from 0 to 4 and if i run this concat function again horsepower columns value now started coming from the 0 to 4 okay remaining value fill with nn So this concatenation function is very useful when we are working on multiple data frame where we are combining values based on their index values, and this combination can be on row level as well as on column level. So that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching this, and we'll see you in next video. Till then, thanks and take care.